I got Nexiplan yesterday. It's my first day fully, and I've been feeling great. I've been feeling amazing. Um, I got it right here. And it's time to take it off and wash it. It's literally, healing process is literally like a belly piercing. How it heals and it's so sore, but after the couple months it was healed, then you didn't feel it anymore, which I didn't feel it anymore. So this is what kind of this is. And Depot, I will do a whole uh, video about Depot. Depot was horrible. It was bad. And I'll show you my, tell you about my experience and everything. But I wanted to document next week one. So I got it yesterday. Had to leave this bandage on for a full 24 hours. I'm supposed to be taking it off. We've been playing this golf all day, but I've been throwing with my right instead of my left. I'm going to wash it with soap and water and then dry it. Put my nails pouring that my dog gave me and right my little bandage. It's pulling the skin. Hang on, I'm gonna get my fiance in so we can cut it. I'll be back. Sorry guys about that. My fiance made uh brought up some hot dogs at friend A uh made an air fryer and they were delicious they were cheesy they were juicy would put them in a hot dog bun put some relish on top mm, perfect 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 they were so good it was so good so thank you thank you thank you thank you um but yeah i didn't i was told that i would be very 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 sore and take advil for the soreness i don't have access to advil but i didn't expect it to be this sore because like it the way you certain move and the way you um, bump it or something like that. It hurts. It hurts. It stings, but it doesn't last long. It just hurts for a little bit, and then it goes away. And then if you hit it again, bump it again, or move it wrong or whatever, it hurts. But it doesn't. It's just only temporary. It's just for a very short amount of time, which I like. But I don't know if you guys can see that where my band aid is. It's where the next plan is. My, I best said husband, <laughs> my husband, my fiance didn't feel it because he was just trying to be very careful. So it feels a lot lower than I thought, a lot lower than I expected. I, she showed me and I thought it was a little higher than this. So I don't know if it moved or not. And if it did, that would be a problem. She said if it moves or I can't feel it then I have to go back. And she also said if the redness around where the insert was, um, if it would be more redder, like more redder and spread it apart, that means it's a um, infection. But the redness around my arm is just from the wrap, that sticky wrap. I had a hard time getting off and it hurt when I got to the skin because it was touching my skin in it. Oh. But like, that's the only reason for me to go back but other than not just take a whole bunch of Advil for soreness and whatnot but yeah it's way down there and I thought it was somewhere else but it was still bleeding when we took it off it was still coming out and I wasn't expecting to do that I don't know if that's a bad thing or not I guess if I can't get the bleeding to stop at all then I guess I have to go back because that's like a severe not normal issue <laughs> but i'll ask her and i'll message her and see just for future reference if it does 
not stop after I did this. Um, I think she said I was not supposed to take a shower or wash it until like two, three days after. Three days to a week, I think. Um, not supposed to take a shower, but I thought she told me to take it to just use soap and water a little gently on the where it was inserted. Um, the whole I thought she said I could do that after I took it off before I put new one on, but I don't know. I could be wrong. That could cause an infection. I don't know. Um, I told my fiance that, uh, she told, my doctor told me to not wash it until three, three days to a week. So yeah, I don't know why I keep looking over here. The camera is over here. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Uh, after I tried to, after I got the bandage, the sticky bandage off, I went to the bathroom and I started to feel like I'm going to pass out. Very dizzy, very white spots. I was really hot up here in my ears, like hot temperature. I could feel it. Um, I just wasn't feeling well. And I'm feeling the, the sharp pain, soreness of, and I didn't realize it would be this bad. <laughs> but I'm fine now because I had some hot dogs. Air I had some air fryer hot dogs and got to enjoy dinner with my fiance. So, yay, that's a plus. <laughs> I'm ready for bed, for real. I'm ready for bed. But, um, there was something else I was going to say about this. The needle is thinner than Depot. Depot is very thick needle. This one is, uh, Nexi Plant is a longer needle, but like thinner than the Depot. The Depot was thicker. But that one didn't, ha I didn't have no soreness. I didn't have no pain on where they injected me with the Depot shot. But with Nexi Plant, I am feeling soreness a day after because I just got it done yesterday. So a day after. And this is going to be hurting for few months I don't know how I forgot how long it takes to heal but I think she said about a week and if not then cut back in or something like that there's some serious um problems for me to have to go back in if they were to occur but yeah with the oh with the depot I had um cyst on each of a couple cysts on each of my ovaries and I felt a lot of internal pain inside my body, lower stomach, ovary areas, internal pain a lot more than I did my arm where they injected it, injected the depot shot. And yes, it was on my left arm as well because I'm a lefty and I was told to do um, my non-dominant arm so that way uh, because you use your dominant arm a lot more so you tend to hit it and pump and everything and that was that's the only issue and because you move it a lot and it can hurt and be sore for a hot minute and it may take longer to heal that's why they recommend you doing your non-dominant arm just because you don't move it as much you don't use it as much you don't think about it like it's a little less soreness a little less pain but um i did it on my my dominant arm because I'm decision on my own. I was not pressured to do anything. I chose on my own and yeah, that's why I need to listen to people, especially doctors. Listen to your doctors. They have the best advice for you, but if you feel pressured and you feel forced to do what they want to do, what your doctor wants to do, you're not with the you're not with the right doctor. You're with the wrong doctor. So switch yourself and get a different doctor. Because that's not the way to go. For them to pressure and force you to make a decision. Mine didn't. So she is so great. She's so amazing. I love her so much. She's the greatest. And she always gets me in um, as soon as she can. Especially with me and my fiance. And I appreciate that, appreciate that very, very much. I love her very much. <laughs> She's awesome. But this is only day one of Nexi Plan, And we're hoping to see good results. Everybody's different. Everybody's body type is different because I still have to take birth control pills. Um, I'll put them right here, the name of them. Um, still for a week. Even after I, a week after. So I continue to take my birth control pills for a week. And then that's it. Since I got Nixie Plan. 
after that, after a week, then I don't have to take my birth control pills anymore. But they were helping me regulate my period. So thankfully, this time around, I only went 8 days instead of 47 days from the depot. The first time I got deep, the first... And I only got one shot of Debro. And this instantly happened right after I got it. Within less than a month that I started experiencing all these bad things and pain and everything. Um, the Debro, I only got one shot. And you take one shot every three months. And that's like $323 that either you pay out of pocket or your insurance covers. Every three months you have to pay that price. Every single time. Every three months. And I inst I so I only got one shot of Depo, and I got started experiencing abnormal pain and cramping really bad. Like not even a week later after I got it, like instantly my body started reacting so hardcore about it. So the first time I took the Depo, I had a period for forty seven days straight. Forty seven days straight. I've never had a period that long, and. Thank God I uh, did not have an infection, a UTI. I didn't have anything because you can get a lot of infections when you have a long cycle that way. And it keeps going over and over and over and over. And it does not stop. You can get infections and it can cause internal bleeding and like more death on the line, serious issues if you don't t get it taken, um, taken care of right away. So... Um, if something like that happens, let somebody know, your doctor, anybody, because that is not normal. The second time I've had, um, my period, because they finally put me, I finally got birth control pills. Finally worked. I was off. I, what, the first week of pills I took, I took two. I was off of my period for, like, maybe an hour or two, and I was back on it. And then three days later, I was off of it. For three days and then three days came back and I was back on it for three days and then the second week of the birth control pills they worked it stopped my period stopped so they continued to keep me on birth control until I got my next plan approved and today yesterday was the day so I'm pretty excited I'm pretty stoked I'm so far I'm feeling great I felt great yesterday and I felt great today um and then Back to Depot, the second time I had my period, after I waited and waited and waited and waited for my birth control pills because the pharmacy was not getting them ready. They were so behind, so far behind, and I called like five pills in. So then the second time I called that when I was out, I made sure I called seven days ahead, and I still had to kind of wait. So with me waiting to get my next thing of birth control pills my next tray which is only 28 um days i had a period for 12 days and then i finally took my pill and i was fine because without taking a pill for one day my whole period was back it restarted and it messed it up again and i'm trying to get i was trying to get it back to regular regulate and i'm pretty sure i'm back to regulate which is great so um now this time around, a I, I guess I kept calling and um, they I never picked it up and I kept calling and they always told me it wasn't ready. Well, this time I came around, and they gave me three trays. So, but I don't technically need all that. I only need a week, another week's worth of pills, and then I'm good to go unless I have to take this out. Um, they said if anything, they can immediately take this back out and it's not a problem. They said it's super easy. So. They make me, she makes me, my doctor makes me feel so great about it and not so bad because <laughs> she's willing to do anything. She helps me and my fiance and my mother-in-law out a lot, a lot. She's amazing. I love her. Um, so she said they can take this. Have any problems, infections or anything like that. So it's still pretty sore. My, I woke up. That was another thing. I woke up. And my hand, my whole left hand, since I have an next one on my left, my whole left hand was swollen. It was blown up like a balloon. Like, maybe even fatter than that. It felt like it was going to bust. But I know it's because she obviously did not, she did not tie my, um, wrap 
that tight because otherwise it would have been blue and I would have been be tingling and everything. So I know she didn't uh, put it that tight. And I thank you for that. Um, but <clears throat> she wrapped it enough for to put pressure on it because you have to put pressure on it to help it stop bleeding. Obviously, mine's not so, mine hasn't stopped bleeding, so I'm gonna message her about that. But um, my enough pressure so your uh, rod, next one rod, can heal properly and it don't move and um, it can heal correctly. But they said if it moves down in the muscle or it moves down into somewhere and you can't feel it, go back. Go back to the ER if their doctor offices aren't open. But if their doctor office is open, go to back to the doctor's office. And if you can't get a hold of them, go to um, the ER. This is the next base. If you can't always get it. So, yeah, I'm documenting my next plan. And... I am going to take you along my experience of this one for round two. I guess you could say round three because I've been on birth control pills. But they said that Nexiplon is very effective, way more effective than Tipo, even though it's basically the same medicine, but I'm doing perfectly fine on the I'm doing perfectly fine on the birth control pills. So they said that Nexiplon should do me fine as well. So I'm not too worried about it, and my doctor still feel, felt pretty bad about how my body reacted to the depot. But it wasn't her fault. It's not her fault. I wanted, I was willing to try, and, um, you know, everybody's different, body's different, so not everyone is going to experience bad issues. Some people, I know some people have been on it depot for years, and they're just fine, perfectly fine. I don't know much about Nexiplon because Nexiplon is pretty new. Um, I know my friend Jenny's sister is on Nexiplon. So, um, she loves it. She's been on it for a year now or two. Something like that. So I'm pretty excited how this is going to do me. And I don't know if you can see, but I am bruised a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I am bruised. I didn't think I would bruise, but I freaking bruise easy. Like, me just running into the wall into a, like a little corner of a table or something yeah i'm a bruise like somebody threw a softball at me <sighs> that looks like it would hurt and welt almost it's almost what it looked like some of it's like some of the bruising gets pretty dark but nobody hurt me <laughs> it's just my injection my um I don't know what you want to call it. Rod. <laughs> Next implant. I didn't really have a surgery. Yeah, because the, they said they changed it up this year. This is 2023 that I have Next implant. And they don't cut you open or slice you open. They don't do that. They just easily slid it in and inject it in. And that was it. So, yeah. And she said it wasn't enough, big of enough hole for me to have stitches. So, it wasn't that big. But it was pretty big than your average in your average normal flu shot or like a depot shot or whatever like it's not that small <laughs> but it's not that big either for stitches so yeah <laughs> so this is day one of nexi plan with rod and we're gonna see how this goes and i'll take you along with me and to see which one's um good and which one's not depot is not depot is not a good decision at all Next one is 99.99% effective. So basically 100% effective, but you can still get pregnant. But there are very rare people that get pregnant. So hopefully I'm one of them very rare to get pregnant until I want a baby. Because I don't want one right now. <sighs> but we're going to feel. So if you don't like this part, skip ahead. But I'm going to try to see and feel if I can feel it. So here we go. Okay. Well. Okay, I don't know. If you don't like blood, look away. But that's what it looks like. It's still bleeding. This band, I didn't stick to it because I put too much, I guess, near spawn. Okay. 
If I can kind of feel it, it's not by the band-aid. Like at all. I'm gonna have to send a video to my doctor and explain. Um, and see if this is okay. And I'll let you guys know if it is. Because I didn't have education on any of this. None of my family, um, that I know of has been on birth control. Only f birth control pills. My mom's been on birth control pills when she was pregnant with me. Or my brother. One of the two. And my sister's been on birth control pills. Um, may I guess mainly people usually get on birth control pills. Nobody has tried Depo because mainly 98% people say Depo's bad. And it is bad. I agree. But I wanted to try it because... I'm not like everybody, but apparently I am. <laughs> and, uh, Nexiplan, nobody has ever did Nexiplan. I don't know how many years nexiplan has been out, but I don't think it's that very long. It's 2023, so I don't know. But I'm going to ask my doctor about this. It's, like, way down here, like, where that bruise is. That dark bruise towards my armpit. That's where it's at. And I don't know if it's supposed to be that far. It seems a little too far down because I thought where the band-aid is it should just be straight up where the band-aid is so it should be just straight right here and I feel it it goes to here this is where it ends and it starts like right here and it's pretty long so that's sore now see, me touching a bruise, you know how touching a bruise is. It doesn't hurt that bad. It's just there. The soreness of trying to bump it or trying to, like I was even trying to sleep and last night. And I'm a lefty, so I, that's why I regretted not putting it in my right. And that's why I was like, okay, my doctor was right. I should have put it on my non-dominant arm because I do everything on my left, which means I can't sleep on my left anymore because of my rod. It hurts a lot more and it's not healed yet, so I cannot lay on that arm. I don't recommend it. Also, another thing, you can drink alcohol while having this in you, but as in it doesn't cancel out anything, it doesn't make the... Nexiplan work less. Doesn't really do much to it. But if I were you, I highly recommend not drinking as much as you would. So whatever amount that would be, I would do less than what you normally do. Because you it's good about being all healthy and not overdosing and not trying to get alcohol poisoning, especially if you're on medications and stuff, like that's bad. That's a no go. Um, I'm not a person, I used to self harm, not anymore. So I am been on my health journey for a very long time. I've been trying to eat more vegetables and fruits and cook more, cook more meals. I've been trying to gain weight. I'm on a healthy gain weight journey. Like I'm so much in a better place. I am so much in a better mindset than I was before I met Ian, my fiance. So, um, and I weigh in the 130s now, which I used to never reach. At one point in my life, I was 135. Never again. I'm way lower than that. <laughs> way lower. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. So I'm pretty excited about this journey, this new journey. And with this next one, I feel great. I feel great. Like I haven't had no more pain from the depot. I haven't had more cramps. Second of all, you can't work out. You can't. Um, I asked about my medicine ball that we have here to exercise with. Because I was working with my arms, trying to build more muscle arm. And I'm trying to, um, was building my squats, doing my squats to build my butt up. To make a big butt. <laughs> and arm strength so I can be not as weak. But she said, no, I can't do that for like a week. Or until this is fully healed because that's a lot and I guess when you go like this it can like your muscle moves so like it can move the next apron and I'm not trying to do that and I'm so scared for it to move like I feel like it moves easy like it's just literally underneath your skin the first 
couple layers of skin that is it so I feel like it, there's nothing there to hold it still there's nothing tying it nothing holding it it's not deep in to make a groove or to make a compression um area like a footprint when you step make a footprint and you walk and you can see the outline like I don't know if it does that and I'm not trying to do that so <laughs> I'm trying to be simple and not make anything worse than I have to I'm such a complicated person <laughs> not trying to make anything worse and harder for me when I always do 24 7 so we're not doing that and then third of all I've noticed that I curl up in a ball to go potty because that's just me I don't know if I'm the only person but I always sit on the toilet and I curl up and put my arms in and I curl up to go to the bathroom number two and I can't do that either so it's literally like my belly piercing I couldn't do that first when I got home when I first got home I regretted every decision I made <laughs> everything I hated everything my whole life was screwed because I got a new piercing and I had to deal with all that but not anymore like my life's perfectly fine I can still do the things I want to do things I do with my fiance um it's just temporary it w the pain will just go away so it's like your belly piercing it will go away after it fully heals and everything and you keep it nice and clean and lotioned up it'll be perfectly fine you won't feel no pain no more soreness or anything the only thing i have to worry about with my belly piercing is that it always gets hooked on everything so that's the way i like to wear a tank top that doesn't have like lace fully but like just the solid solidness so i don't get stuck on it because my hoodies like this this always gets caught on my um belly piercing if I don't um uh wear a shirt underneath and I will do a video about my piercings first time experience piercings because I think I believe I had these all three piercings uh a whole year now so I will do a video on that as well and um I don't know I totally went off the rail <laughs> I totally went a different talked about something completely different that has nothing to do with this video Oh, uh, so basically what I'm saying was really, really put deep thought into getting Nexiplon. Really put deep thought into it because it will, and it will change your life. You will have to do everything on a daily different. It will be in your way for a little while. I'm hoping it heals and doesn't hurt anymore. Like my belly piercing. Because I regretted my belly piercing the second I got home. <laughs> then I started realizing, oh man, I have to do a lot of things. So really think about getting any kind of birth control pill uh any birth control because they said if this one doesn't work out i was going to be my choices were picking between either nexiplan or udi udi is what you insert up your vagina and if it falls out you have to go back to the emergency room or your doctor's office if they're open to have them put it back in because that's a procedure this Nexiplan used to be pr a procedure where they had to cut you, slice you open, and put stitches in back. But they do that completely different now of the year 2023. So, but with um, an UDI, um, very painful I heard as well. And it can easily fall out. That's why I didn't want to pick the UDI. That's why I picked Nexiplan over UDI. And, um, because UDI, I don't even know how long you recovered or how much that cost. I think that cost a little cheaper, I think. I can't remember. But, um, what's it called? Nexiplon stays in for like three years and it can be re-upped to five years. It de all depends on that moment, that day how your body's been, and everything. So I just picked Nexium Plan because I thought it would be easier, cheaper, more, you can keep it more in the long run and it would stay there longer than anything else. And, and it's more highly um, cheaper in the long run and it lasts longer in the long run, everything in the long run. <laughs> so I just picked Nexium Plan and tried, I'm trying it. So this is my experience and thank you for watching. Thank you for making it this far and I hope I didn't ramble off too much. I hope this video helps and I hope my journey and my experiences help and I will make another video on an update for my Nexiplan, how I'm feeling, 
how I'm doing. Uh, I will show you if it's swollen or more redness or infections or whatever happens. I will show you so you guys can be um, knowledge on this topic. Knowledge, um, teachings, learning, understanding. Uh, hopefully I can answer your questions. And yeah, so I just love helping people when I, cause I didn't have nobody to help me. I am just going along. I'm learning as I go, <laughs> but I did do a lot of research and a lot of reading and a lot of reviews on a lot of things. And I've even asked people in my real life in person, even asked their opinions and, um, if they knew anything about it or anything, please do research. Please ask people, ask questions. Please do all that. Learn as much as you can and understand it. And if you and you can't understand it, continue to ask questions. Continue to do your research but until you can understand it. Then decide whether you want to do it or not. Please don't be forced. Please don't feel like pressure like you have to because you don't. You have a free will. It's your body and you can do whatever you want and don't self-doubt yourself but if you have a bad feeling about something listen to your gut it's always right it's never wrong and yeah just another reminder again if you feel forced or anything you're with the wrong person you're with the wrong doctor your people making you feel uncomfortable about it they're being rude they're not being understanding they're not being friendly get rid of them you're with the wrong doctor the wrong person the wrong supporter the wrong whoever get rid of them get find somebody else go search for something else somebody else until you can feel comfortable as a safe place and understanding and that's what i want this channel to be and this platform as well so thank you for watching thank you for making it this far and i love you guys and i hope you know this would help everybody so i love you guys i'll talk to you later Mwah. bye